Three, two, one. <laughs> oh! Jeez! <laughs> huh? Okay, put a ball in there. Oh, oh, why are you pressing the trigger? I, I'm oh. just grabbing it. This is the trigger. My ears. And uh, how are we gonna? <laughs> Did you just really smell that really hard? What's the matter with you? Kid, don't try this at home. Stop smelling it. <laughs> Weirdo, I'm sure it's toxic. You're wacky, dude. You all right? Yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> you sure you're good? Yeah. Okay. First guess, what do you think we're making? Uh, like a tube gun. Actually, that's exactly what we're making. We're making a potato launcher. This is my little potato gun. Psych, we're not making a potato. We're doing a ping pong launcher. Ping pong? Yep. We're going to take, build a gun that's air powered that's going to launch ping pong balls. <laughs> <laughs> Beckham's going to be so jealous. You excited? Yeah. All right. Let's drop some designs. So we're gonna try to replicate it. So the way he had is he had a big canister that supports all the air inside of it. Then it comes up here and the, this is the barrel of the thing. Uh, over here is gonna be the little injection port where we put air that feeds this can uh, canister. And then we're gonna have a valve here that creates a stop block to basically have a trigger. It's gonna look like the weirdest gun ever, but I think if we follow the instructions correctly, which there's one part I'm not too certain about, we might just be able to pull this off. By the way, I'm using your favorite color. All right, so we got our supplies here. Hopefully we're not missing anything. We need to figure out the proportion size of this. You wanna be able to hold it. The longer the barrel, the further and straighter it goes, but you don't want it to be too big that it's uncomfortable to hold. Uh, this is the max capacity of air that we can have. Do you think we should go a little bit shorter? Yeah. Okay, so about a third of the way shorter on the air capacity. Now, if you imagine this is gonna be the gun, this is gonna travel on top, and then we have an opportunity to either keep it longer right here, so from here to here, or keep it the same length as the tube itself, or maybe even a little bit out, your call. A little bit out. A little bit out. I think that's a good call. It almost looks like a shotgun kind of. That's maybe kind of the theme. It'll be like a shotgun ping pong ball launcher. Mm -hmm. it, it doesn't fall off your tongue when you say it, but I think it'll look good. All right, let's cut it. So take a third of this off. We'll use the miter saw. I'll let you do that. I'll make my markings and then uh, we'll get going on this. Have I ever had you use the miter saw before? Yep. What did, when did you do it? Uh, the last project. Oh, the last project. Don't tell them what it is. Well, actually, they'll know what it is by now. All right. Safety, like always, I made your line here. Come to the side, hold it so it doesn't move. Circular stuff is harder, and we're gonna go nice and slow. There's a safety switch, remember? Yeah. Slow. Slower. You like that smell? Do you know what they use these black pipes for? I mean, these are brand new. This is uh, where all your toilet pee and poop goes down. I mean, it's clean, it doesn't smell like poop for me right now, oh. but this is exactly the stuff that they use. All right, plumbing 101. In order for us to, first of all, create a cap for the back end, we need to glue it together. This is uh, all-purpose cement. The material that we're using is ABS. This is black ABS pipe. It also says PVC. You know what PVC is. So different chemical compounds that are inside here have to have certain kind of glues to them. So what I'll have you do is have your first ever plumbing glue up. And of course, I need pliers for this. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna put this cap on. And the way you do it is at the bottom of this cement is this little sponge brush. You're gonna run it around here about this length, completely around, and do the same on the cap, and then I'll show you how to put it on. The inside of the cap? Just the edge right here. Yeah. There you go. Here's a little trick. Go around like this. Oh. It goes faster. Start caking it up more. Go a little bit wider right here. Dip it again in your cement. Yep, perfect. Holding it. All right, that looks about good. It now smells, do the same thing for the cap. It smells so good. It smells good? Then it's actually not bad. I like it. <laughs> That's weird. I do like the smell of like gasoline, which is weird. You get a little bit more on there. We gotta work a little bit faster because we don't want this stuff to dry. And the great thing about plumbing is there's no such thing as too much glue. There we go. All right, is that good? put it on. Slide it all the way on. And then here's a the trick. You gotta do a quarter turn so it spreads. Yeah, see, it's drying quick. All right, and then we hold it there for about 10 seconds so it doesn't slip off. Nothing too hard. It's amazing how fast it dries. And you dipped your finger in it. <laughs> all right, this should be ready. Next on, we have to put our reducer. This takes it from four inches down to two inches. So why don't you start gluing that up Same as well? Thing? Same exact thing. Oh, don't get it on your it shirt. On shoe. Get on your shoe. Hmm. Your beautiful pink Crocs. There you go. Now do the cap or the reducer. This is almost like an art project, huh? Yeah. A little bit more. Because like I'm painting. Yeah. You're a real Jacko Picasso. Slide that on before the glue dries, all the way on, and then halfway twist. And then twist. There we go and hold. That should be good. All right, so we reduced it now from four inches. It's going to hold all of our air down to two inches. Two inches. Seriously, I dude, gotta you got to get it. I get it. All right, next up, we're going to reduce it down to one inch. And this time, don't start smelling the glue. 
So, but because this is PVC, it needs primer, but this does not need primer. So what I'll have you do is put the cement on there and I'll get this primer ready for the reducer. That's good. All right, All right the primer is ready for you. So why don't you put primer on that, on this, that piece right there. Yep. This? The, the, sorry, the cement, yep, on the purple part. That's good. All right, slide that on, put it in all the way and then halfway twist. There we go. We'll hold it for a little bit. Perfect, cool. We are looking good. Now what we need to do is start curving this thing up and around the corner. And does the primer smell good? Does the primer smell good? Yeah. Do I think the primer smells good? Yeah. Oh. Let me check. It smells like cologne. Oh, it's toxic. <coughs> that has to be toxic. Stop smelling it so hard, dude. Seriously. We're gonna get like demonetized on this account. We need to create our 90 degree elbow here. So we need a little, this is a one inch and that slides in there, but obviously this is way too long. So we'll chop this up, put a piece there and there, and then I'll go up. Let's get our miter saw out. Okay, get your glasses on. So you're just gonna cut it right outside that little second line, okay? Just outside? Just, yeah, like right there. First remember, you have to get up to speed, the saw. Yeah. Right, come to a dead spot. Now you gotta go. There's one we'll need for that to that, and then we'll need the other one. Go from here. All right, so you got this piece. We'll put primer uh, and then we'll put cement on it and we'll stick it in there. And then the same thing with this 90 degree elbow, okay? okay. So let's get primer on there first. Where? Yep, on the outside part. Yep, dripping. that's good. And then set it down for it to dry because we're going to do the other side of it too. It's dripping. Yeah. And then do this one only on the insides, both sides. Insides. Oh, oopsies. Yep, that's good. You don't have to go crazy with the primer. It's You picked a good day to wear a white shirt mm -hmm. and white pants or shorts and white socks. All right, that's good. Set that down. Entire inside is purple. And then do uh, outside and inside here. All right, yep, you use the cement. Inside there, outside here, and push it in. Keep it over the table, yep. Just the outside there. Okay, slide that in all the way. Oh, all the way? And then give it a little twist and hold. We really gotta make sure we don't screw this part up because this will hold a lot of pressure. And if it's not done correctly, it could explode on you. Which I think will just come apart, explode. Not. It should be good. Let's get cement here and there, and then we'll put our 90 degree elbow up, and then this side. What? On the purple. Oh. Slide that on. All the way, all the way, all the way, real hard. And then twist, keep it hold there. All right, you can let go. Nicely done. Then we're gonna come up inside and outside. Okay, that should be good. There you go. Give it a tiny little twist and hold. Perfect. Now we got our T, and you know why it's called the T. <laughs> or next. We're gonna do inside, outside, and this is the most important part. We have to make sure when we put this on that it's pointing this direction. So get it on here first. Okay. Let's everything. get this one inside right here facing you. Okay. Yep. I'll put it on so it's nice and straight. Honestly, I would think it would be called a plus. Nah, that's actually a lot better. That's the way that they're calling it a T. That, that makes Who's sense. It's like tall on the top. You know what I'm thinking after putting this on? It would have been cool to plan ahead, put another one of these in front, because that could be like your scope. Oh, yeah. That would be kind of cool. But we'll build it on the, we'll build that one on the version 2.0 someday. All right, so now we're going to cap the top and this side with these caps. So once you go apply your stuff, it has a chemical reaction with the primer and the cement and the material that we're using. So it actually glues very, very fast. Cool. Let's do the top cap. All the way, real hard. Yep, there you go. Okay, so we have the most important part. Now, this is the part that's a little tricky. So here's the hard part. Uh, air's gonna fill up here and it's gonna come over here. We need to have a damp or a valve, something to keep that air trapped until we press the trigger to activate it. Because in order for something to fly fast, we need to have a lot of pressure and then a quick abruption of that block. So here's what the guy did. He got a sprinkler valve. This is the stuff that computer turns this valve on and this opens a little valve right there and then water flows and does the sprinklers. So what he did was he took this section off off, and then he took these screws off and attached an air release trigger. And the way he did that was he used one of these air compressor tools that like blows air off of you. And he had it attached just like that. So, well, I think it's like this. So when you're ready to launch it, you just press this trigger, it activates airflow through the valve and it should theoretically launch our things. This is the only part I'm not too certain about. So. We'll find out. <laughs> I mean, it's a ping pong ball, so it's probably not gonna be like a BB gun but we're not gonna shoot it at somebody. Mm -hmm. Promise me you're not gonna shoot it at anybody. Can I shoot it at Beckham? If he's no, being... definitely not what Beckham. If he's being, what if he's being not... Well, still, that doesn't justify shooting him. You can shoot at a fence, how about that? Okay. All right, use this drill, take these screws off right there. Nice and slow. Whoopsies. You gotta pop this thing off. So this is the diaphragm. There should be a spring in here. There it is. So what we're gonna need to do 
is two things. Number one, we're gonna, because there's a water electrical valve here, it has a little hole, so we need to clog that hole with epoxy. I got five minute epoxy, should dry quick. While you're gonna work on that, uh, mixing an epoxy up, I'm gonna have to figure out how to drill a hole through here tightly enough that this could sit in there. That's the part that I'm a little hesitant about. So, let's do this. You mix the epoxy, we'll get that settled in there, and then we'll figure out the drilling with the hole. Squeeze some in here the size of a big quarter. So, squeeze in there. It's gonna take resin and the hardener, and we'll mix it so it'll actually grip. So squeeze it right into the little tray there. There you go, keep going. That should be good. Stop. Super sticky stuff. If it gets on you, it's gonna uh. be a bad day for everybody. You already got it on you? Yep. All right, now mix it without spilling it inside so the, the hardener and the epoxy can mix. You got all of it? I'll let you start pouring it, clog that hole right there. So mm -hmm. just, yeah, s scrape it with your stick right into it. Use the corner of this so it all goes, th there you go. We're gonna get all of that in there. Careful not to drip it anywhere else because this is kind of important. Yeah, that should be good. That hole is clogged. Nicely done. All right, so it says five minute epoxy. Sometimes it takes five minutes, sometimes it takes 10. So we'll hold tight for a quick minute here. One eternity later. All right, Jack, so the epoxy is dry. It definitely didn't take five minutes. It took like 15 to 20, but we're good. The hold's clogged. We don't need this section at all. Next thing up, we need to figure out how to mount this air trigger to it. So what I came up with, one of these uh, air blowing attachments, I removed the bottom part that screws into the bottom part here. So what we need to do is drill a perfect hole that's super tight to screw it from the bottom. Uh, that way we'll have our air trigger to release our ping pong ball. This is the part that's gonna get sketchy. All right, here goes nothing. All right, let's see that copper piece right there, the gold piece, yep. Let's see if we'll fit in there. That's actually really tight. Oh, I kind of like that a lot. All right, let's clean up this little part and we'll see if we'll screw it in. Just needed a hair wider. See, the sucky part is you can't put a wrench in there to start screwing it in, so it has to like kind of go into it by itself. All right, you want to try to screw that on? Uh, the bottom part right bottom. there. Oh, that's in the way, huh? So we need to definitely push it through more. And I don't know how we're going to screw it in from the bottom. Do we even need this? We don't, actually. Okay. Are you saying cut it off? Yeah. I like the way you think. How do you cut metal? With uh, metal. You fight metal with metal. Oh, do this and go to this. <laughs> Are you done? I think I got it loose. Yeah. It's almost out. Get it's your safety good. glasses on. Uh, you know that one? Top drawer. Thank you. Okay, so trigger, go slow first, okay? Okay. Go ahead. Oh, hold on, hold on. Did I get too fast? Uh, I think I just didn't clamp it too hard because I didn't want to damage it. You were doing good. Okay, let's try that again. We're almost there. All right, that's actually a great idea. I didn't even think about it. All right, you want to set that down? Yeah. Oh, it's actually working. Nice. Dude, nice work. Okay, man, that's the part that I was so concerned about. So, let's put it back together, get our uh, diaphragm in, the spring in. So this is gonna be our activator. Wait, so it's like this? So, like... no, unfortunately, because the, the, the way we got it designed, so it's more oh. like you press it like oh, this. Like this. Yep, exactly. So, we're back on gluing everything up. So we need a small piece that we got here, so let's get the uh, cement ready to slide that in there. Oh, first, actually, we gotta screw these on. So once you screw these, because once we get those on, there's no uh, changing things. And then this one goes on the other side. See that? Put a nice dad strength. Do you think dad strength is a real thing? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's true. I remember shaking my uncle's hand when I was like your age. I was like, why does this feel like a bear claw? And then I realized, once you become a dad, you get dad strength. That's an origin story. All right, that should be good. Now. This is where we combine them together. So, pox, or cement in here and in there. Beautiful. And then in here. Good, get that in there. Okay. Now, let's get it around this one and around this one. Good. Right, this is another important part because this part has to be straight up and down. Go sideways, turn it. That looks pretty dang straight. You know what's cool? There's even an arrow right here to show the direction it's going. <laughs> Actually glad we caught that ahead of time because <clears throat> if this section was backwards, it wouldn't work. Okay. Now, this is the fun barrel part stuff. Let's get this one on. Again, pretty dang good with this whole plumbing stuff. You know that you've so far built two weapons so far. We did the catapult. Weapons. <laughs> and then we the did this air gun. Beckham's gonna be jealous. <laughs> you got to do that stuff. Okay. We're gonna have a war. What do you think of this barrel? It doesn't stick out too much. Because my fear is if we cut it here, we won't have too much to work with. But it's your call. How do you think it looks when it's sticking? A little too much sticking out? A little too, maybe right here? Maybe more? Okay, you got it. You got it, dude. 
Fit check? <laughs> you didn't know I need that word. <laughs> I'm so hip, you don't even realize that. Meow. Okay, final thoughts on the length. Yeah, that's, that's that, good. That, that's a good okay, answer. so then put this reducer on. This takes us from one inch uh, up to uh, two inches. That's perfect. We definitely don't want any cement in there because that's gonna jam up our valve. And then let's get our barrel on. Ooh, this is gonna be tough. We don't have enough room here, so we're gonna have to be, let, let me see if I can squeeze that in there. Oh, okay, there we go. I am purposely made this like really close to this container so we could actually use it as support because this is gonna be a wobbly tube. All right, perfect. Oh, one more part. This is our coupling. Slide this on here and then do this side. Hold that. Oh. What do you think? That's actually a nice grip right there. I know. Too bad there's no trigger there. So to launch it, you would essentially... Just go like this. Oh yeah, that kind of rests. Oh, you know what we should have done? On this T-piece, we should have put an extension yeah, to actually yeah, rest yeah. on your arm. But that's still not bad. It's still, yeah. You just kind of go... Dude, that's that awesome. So cool. <laughs> it's actually a sweet design, right? <laughs> yeah. You know what we should definitely do? What? We should uh, paint it like a camel oh, yeah, color or something like that. It. But we got one more thing to do here. Uh, as you can see, we have these little stop blocks there. And the reason I have that there is we can put a pressure gauge in there, which I don't think we need it because our inflator has a little digital reader in there. So we don't overinflate it. But the second part that we definitely need to put on is a Schrader valve. You know what a Schrader valve is? Nope. A Schrader valve is the valve stem on your bike or your dirt bike to put air in, the little hose attachment for like a pump. Oh, yeah. That's, that's a little stem, it's called a Schrader valve. Uh, we need to have a Schrader valve that has threads on it so we can screw it into this thing. The only problem is, is I checked Home Depot and all the other stores, couldn't find any. So I have to order one online, it's gonna be here in a week. But while we're waiting on that, we should prime and paint this thing. Yeah. All right. You're the artist in the family. Looks like a candy cane. Oh yeah, it's a candy cane gun. It looks like a metal gun. It doesn't look like PVC anymore. It looks, metal. It looks good. Yeah, it looks awesome. Pretty uh, good? Yeah. All right. So the Schrader valve family came in. I got it on Amazon. These are just like your bike pump attachments. You can screw this into anything. So I melted this section of the back with a torch. And then when the plastic was soft enough, I screwed it on. So now we can pressurize this with the air compressor. It'll fill this up. The valve will stop it. And as soon as we press the switch, theoretically it should launch. There's only one way to find out. Let's do it. So we're gonna fill it up. Now, these PVCs are rated to hold between 300 and 600 PSIs, which is a lot. We're not gonna push the limits because I don't want it to explode. We're gonna try to get it to close to about 100. We're gonna check it. We're currently at 50. Let's give it another one, two, three, four, five. All right, we're at 90 PSI. All right, we're gonna put a ball in here. Okay, stand up. At three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> That's freaking... No, give me this. This is mine now. And fire. All right, let's try this. Launch it straight up. Three, two, one. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. This was a super cool project to build. Did you have fun building it? Yeah. I think next time we need to build a longer tube, also maybe a little bit smaller. I think we'll be able to get further distance and more accuracy. But all in all, I think this is one of the coolest projects we built. Like and share this with your friends. We'll see you guys in the next one. See ya. Bye.